Good morning, Emma. How are you doing today? I'm great. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, thank you for asking. Well, we're very excited. I'm calling you from uh, Canada, from Toronto, Canada. We're going to start the gloaming and we're very excited for it. And I got to say, um, I watched the first few episodes and I, I think, wow, this is just so different than anything I've ever seen. But I was thinking for you to take on this role was a no brainer because your character, Molly, she's pretty ballsy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she's very ballsy. And that was one of the reasons I um, really wanted to do this. I mean, the scripts were brilliant and intriguing and there was a supernatural element to it. But I was like, wow, what a cool detective. She's a little bit kind of crazy and such a risk taker and um, really impulsive um, but kind of quite shut off at the same time. But, yeah, definitely has this kind of slightly kind of crazy element to her. Um, which is really cool. I haven't played a character like her before, so um, it was a no-brainer for me. I was like, please let me do yeah, this show. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to ask about the challenges maybe you, you face, but first I wanted to know, like, are you fan? Are you a fan of uh, detective shows, but also Supernatural, you know? Was that yes. something that you liked? Yes, I'm a massive fan, <clears throat> excuse me, of, um, of both. And so... Yeah, to see them both kind of married, um, these genres, I was like, oh, my God, this is um, absolutely epic to have it all in there. And, um, yeah, there was definitely there was definitely challenges. I have to say that she was a really challenging character. So f for me to, you know, for me to play, um, to have the kind of police procedural side of it but to um, really kind of flesh out the kind of emotional side of it and... Um, to do the whole police thing naturally, you know, I had to pick the brains of a, this this woman who was a detective there, and um, sometimes you're just kind of guessing and hoping it looks real, even though you've done your research. It's still nerve wracking going into a role like this. I can imagine, I'm sure. Mm. And let's talk about this cast. You have such a fantastic cast, and I, you know, I, I want to ask about working with you and Leslie because um, there's a great, uh, you know, chemistry going there. What was it like to work with him? Ewan's amazing. Um, he's a good friend of mine, and he's um, an absolutely brilliant actor. And so we really bounced off each other very well. Um, you know we had the same kind of like nerves going into it, going, I hope we're doing this right. And so, you know, there was a lot of similarities between um, you and I, but yeah, we really, we got along so well. And I think it's really important um, because sometimes it doesn't work that way with cast. Um, I tend to get along with a lot of, most people really well, but I've, <laughs> you know it doesn't always work that way for a lot of people so you you always hoping that you know um your castmates are going to be just really cool people and he happened to be that and i was very grateful so um yeah it was a lot of fun Absolutely. I, I got to ask you, I mean, the, the show is shot in Tasmania. It's mm -hmm. not a part of Australia that we get to see very often. No. But what we get from that, the feel of Tasmania is it, it fits so well with the show because it's so dark and, and kind of a little creepy. And so I, I was just wondering, you know, while you were shooting there, did you have any kind of supernatural experiences yourself or did you get the feel from being there? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. definitely. <laughs> oh, uh, for sure. There's a really dark history in Tasmania. Um, a lot of tragedy and, um, so a lot of death. Um, if you, if you care to look into the history of it. And, um, I personally, I could very much feel that I'm very sensitive to it all. Um, and so not, not only could I feel that at times, you know, certain times on set I was like there are some strange things happening. Um, yeah, it's kind of this, it, it's also a really interesting contrast because of how epically beautiful Tasmania is, but it's it's not in, in a usual way. It's kind of like this big, giant, prehistoric, rugged way, but it's so beautiful it takes your breath away sometimes. So it's kind of, yeah sort of dichotomy between beauty and 
um, grief and sadness there. But uh, um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty special place. I I've I don't know any other place like Tasmania, and I really 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 wanted to visit it. And then this role came along, and I was like, yes, I get to live there for five months. So yeah, yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah, at, uh, yeah. At, I, I was curious. Do you have you know? Do you believe? In this stuff, are the supernatural, have you ever had any kind of experiences? Uh, I have had many experiences <laughs> with ghosts, many. Um, some pretty terrifying ones. I lived with a poltergeist in Japan when I was modelling there, um, which was terrifying. And many of, because many of the models were like, my apartment is haunted. I was like, mine too. Um, and... Uh, that was my first terrifying experience I've had lots of experience with spirits actually um I'm pretty open to that stuff um but none of the other ones have been very scary you know and a lot of people like I don't I never feel anything but it's like I guess different people are different are open to different things and if you think about it they're just kind of us without a body I mean that's my that's the way I look at it so Yes, I have. And that's why I'm very intrigued by it all. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. Well, you know, and, and just quickly before we go, I just want to ask you, because I have to say the stuff that comes out of Australia, it's truly some of my favorite things, whether it's film, TV, it just, you guys are really doing it well there. What is the secret about the Australian, you know, film, film business and TV business? You guys are just popping out amazing content. Wow, thank you so much. Um, you know, I don't, you know, it's a really interesting question. Firstly, there's a lot of talent there, um, a lot of talent that comes out of Australia. But also, I don't know, we don't have the budgets that America does. And so sometimes there's so much demand, I think, for content from America that a lot of shows and stuff are just kind of pumped out, do you know what I mean? And we have a show, we don't have the budget, we have to, uh, sometimes we do, obviously we had a, a fantastic budget on the gloaming because um, it's not just an Australian show, but um, I think there's so much care and artistry that goes into the work, um, not to say that doesn't happen in America, obviously there is fantastic shows, um, but yeah, I think it's just like we want to make really phenomenal art and care so much about what we're doing and tell brilliant stories. And so we really push ourselves. Well, it shows, that's for sure. And the gloaming is is high quality. It's really a good one. And we look forward to watching it here. Just want to thank you so much for your time today, Emma. And uh, take care of yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy. And hopefully we get to see you in person someday soon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You have a wonderful You're, day too. You're so welcome.